open by saying that Anna and I sharing one name, but we feel especially close to each other because mm -hmm. I'm wearing her bra because I forgot mine. Yeah. So I just wanted to set the stage we're best friends. for Two where we're at one bra. right now. This is my birthday, and they said, Rebel, you know what would be hilarious? If you wear a 120-pound suit and get attacked by two German shepherds. <laughs> and I was like, how does that fit in with singing competitively? I took Brittany out last night. Where'd you go? Oh, we partied it up <laughs> the club. at um at the Sydney Theatre Company. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's not club goes off. Do you want to know oh. what the best part is, though, <laughs> Jimmy? The best part is they don't even put it in the movie. <laughs> Stayed up singing no. all night. Oh wow. god, it, oh, we didn't get back to like ten. Well, <laughs> Have you ever thought of actually like taking it to the next level, like? Releasing an album or a single, or oh actually, my God. no one wants I that for me. Never do that. Nobody I would, would never. Want that. <laughs> <laughs> the the image of no. me being on the stage, being like, I could never take myself that seriously. Like, how you yeah. do it? Like I, I'm being not a rock star. Like... You're working in the movie with uh, DJ Khaled. Yes. Uh, now, uh, mm, yes, indeed. he's hilarious. Yes. Uh, is he a fan of the movies? I don't know because um, he showed up and he he sort of said, oh, I don't do scripts and I like to improv. And we were like, okay. And um, there's a line where uh, I, I'm talking about um, the other girls and he was like, they don't want you to win. They want you broke. They want you dead. And I was like, that's not what the movie's about. That's, what about. <laughs> that's how he improvises? No, 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 no. Very supportive, very supportive <laughs> cast members. <laughs> Uh, Jumping Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it started already? Like I need to. Okay. Oh, oh, I can't uh, get on. You're shorter, so go down. Uh, 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 proposal, marriage yeah. proposal. <laughs> That's nine. All right. Yeah. Who drinks the most here? Let's just be clear. Oh, God. Brittany. Oh, my God. Oh, good. I'm glad I won't well, say me. I thought you were going to say me. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, I guess. You drink responsibly. She, she is a one-woman party. No. Well, also, yeah. if you had a problem, we wouldn't have said that. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, this is my intervention. Yeah, yes. yeah that's oh, why you're here. Oh, oh God. Oh, my God. Skirts. Oh. Skirts. Skirts. <laughs> we're doing this. We're doing... Oh, we're not talking. <laughs> oh, darn it. She... She... You know what it is. Push out. Which of your co-stars would you call to help you bury a body? <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. Is this... Like every group of friends Hannah. to do it. Yeah, Hannah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> every Hannah. person that sat in these chairs has said the exact really? same thing. Yeah. I'm not surprised. She just, you know. She's just like, she may have she's done so it sweet. But then like she'll say things where you're like, how? She'll come up with these facts that you're like, how would you know that? Unless you were like a, a gangster or an assassin yeah. or something. Like, she's she, like. She, okay, this is getting personal, but she once gave me as a birthday present a knife. And she did give us all lighters as our yes. rap gifts. Yes. So this is, not, this is not coming out of nowhere. Yeah. What do you want for Christmas? You're next on this one. I want peace on earth. <laughs> I do, I really, really do. And I want just happiness and peace uh, for the planet. I'm not kidding. Amen. Mm -hmm. I mean, me too. That would be really bad if I said you can a say jacket. a new jacket if you want, and a new jacket. No, no, I don't. Well, everybody calls me Kendrick and, and I'm calls Camp. her Camp. Which at first, when people started calling me Kendrick, I, th I felt like really cool. Like I was like on a sports team, and I was oh. like, a, I'm like, I'm a jock. <laughs> and then and I realized a super it was a famous just rapper of that. called Kendrick. <laughs> That yes. is also, yes. I yes. thought that, I thought that, that was why. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was why. Very similar to Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Ugly Dingo Bitch, the name yes. of the boat was yeah. that. <laughs> was that, that ad -lib? Okay, so that was just an improvisation right, in the scene. Yeah. And then suddenly the art department had like a week to build the back of the yacht. And and place. Yeah. I, I Who got was... that piece of yacht? Like, can yeah, you? Yeah. Yeah. They should sell that. Or yeah. no, like, not sell that. They that should give it to like you. That was like a million dollars to build that. You're yacht. kidding me. Like that was expensive. But what about the never? We hardly got paid for the movie because the yeah. money went into fat building dingo that. Bit. Every day we were in this boot camp. Oh my god, I've had this thing in my head <laughs> the take entire it. time. Oh. Wonderful. This is just behind the scenes stuff. Sure. I don't even know it's in my Don't head. worry. You wear it for half. Oh, look at that. Look, you know, taking one for the team. Look at that. That's so sweet. When we all went to Mexico, I found out that um, everybody thought I was like scary when we started the first movie. Yeah. Was it in Mexico you found this out? Yeah, you guys told me. Oh, oh yeah. I remember the dinner. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and you almost cried. A and couple then tequilas in. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, scary. that's not accurate. Yeah. 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 Scary. <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? Um, I saw one of those like made for TV kind of uh, 
or what would have as seen on TV style commercials yeah. for this thing that like drills a little like baby hole in your wine bottle so that you I've can like. I've seen that. Cork, yeah. It's co co what, what's that thing called? Cork I don't know. I'm something. doing a bad job pitching it. They're not going to send me one for free now. What's your favorite burrito filler? Guacamole, rice, chicken, beef, lettuce, or sour cream? Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I'm picking guac too. I pick guac too. Yeah. Oh, you guys. I mean, that's kind of a loaded. That's like, like who, what are you gonna yeah. choose? What are you gonna choose, rice? That's so close. No. We're proud of you, Rebel. Aww, mm. You're on fire. Brittany, you're proud of her? You? Thanks. No, no, I'm not <laughs> proud of her at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even like her that much. Yeah. You cried the most at the Rebel. Probably. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you cried and danced at the same time? I was like, <laughs> this is the best one ever. I just, yeah. I just sure. thought she yeah. was scary because every time I would go over and visit her in her apartment or hotel or in any vacation, she always had her son glasses completely lined up <laughs> okay. one by okay. one symmetrically in rows. Brittany has this theory that everybody has, stay with me now, that everybody has a serial killer trait, which is the trait that when it turns out that you're a serial killer, because won't well, we all, um, that's the thing that I people will. will look at and go, you know what, I should have known. <laughs> she preferred creamy peanut butter, I should have known. Kendrick cereal was killer. a serial killer because she You should have seen her glasses. This is your grandmother w was out promoting pretty yeah. hardcore. She was, she's just out at the local mall. No one told her to do this. Like, the movie studio makes the money, Grandma, not really me. <laughs> one of us is going to have to get married, yeah. and one of us is going to have to have a bachelor at party. Yeah. And I think that there's been many films, trilogies even, that have mm -hmm. had bachelor, bachelorette party hijinks. I think it'd be great. Absolutely. Oh, that yeah. sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Bradley Cooper can be in the fourth one, too. And he totally. can misplace... <laughs> and Zach Galifianakis. Which Next. female musician inspires you? I think we can all answer this at the same time. Beyonce. Beyonce. I know you guys want me to do oh. that, but I'm, I, yes, of course. You don't but, have to. But I, no, I feel group. like we've pressured you to like Beyonce. But, <laughs> no, I do, I love Beyonce. Are you more of a Lord gal? Basically, Fat Amy becomes an action hero in this movie, which was great. I get to show off some of my martial arts skills. Um, and it's kind of my audition for some Chinese kung fu movies. So I hope you guys see it. Ni hao. Can you do maybe Kristen Stewart like explaining what Pitch Perfect 3 is about? <laughs> um, um, you know, there's like, the Bellas are out of college and, um, you know, uh, they go on a USO tour and there's like, you know, hilarity ensues, so. <laughs> oh my gosh! Recently, my um, cousin hooked, set me up with a, a date sort of situation. It was a blind date. I had never met this guy before. And we were out to dinner, and he said, you know, in my early 20s, I really felt like it was important to be with somebody who was really like a supermodel and, and skinny and beautiful and kind of like a Victoria's Secret model. And now in my 30s, I really feel like it's more about a personality, not so much about looks. And that's why I'm so glad that I'm out here with you. And I'm so glad that I took you on this date because your personality is so much more than the way you look. I got Fat Amy. I got Fat Amy. I got Becca. I don't think being Becca is bad. Okay. You're standoffish at first. <laughs> I'm just, but under yeah. that tough exterior lies a heart of gold. I was oh, like, that's crazy. true. And your talent never, never ceases, ceases to amaze. amaze. All true. You know, we talked about this maybe being the last one. I can't think about the end. Ah! I can't think about that right now. It's too much for me. I did it to her and she was like, oh man, I, I do that with my mouth. And I was like, you're doing it now, I know. Then the date actually got worse because then. It got worse from there? Yeah, yeah, it did. How does it get worse from well, there? Well, he freestyle rapped to me. Oh. Now in his yeah. defense, that was my move back in the day. <laughs> yeah. It usually works. No, 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 I'm just, I, did he really freestyle rap? Oh yeah, yeah, um, and not well. I, I know, shocker. To me, you are perfect. You may see things like your height as flaws, but they're not. I never thought my height was that. I didn't think your height was a problem either. <laughs> one time, though, in Pitch Perfect One, when glass exploded, I, I remember, remember yelling that. "medic, medic" instead of saying "stop," and people thought I was just acting in the yes, scene. Yes, I remember that. But I was actually calling for medical attention. Everyone was like, "Rebels, so Rebels, funny. hilarious!" Like, you know, and I was like, "No, I've got glass and blood on my Mom, on my leg." His name was. Um, well, I won't tell you his name, but his... Oh, it would be so great if you said his <laughs> full name. But he wanted me to call him your boy. So, by the way,
the way, I did not know this going on the date. Uh, or else How, this guy's in his 30s. Yes. And, and he wants to be called Ya Boy. boy. B O I as well. Oh my God. Oh God, he oh totally God. knows now. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So when are you seeing him again? That's my question. Um, he's my boyfriend. Next week. <laughs> We're very happy together. Which pitch movie is your favorite? Mine is the first one. <laughs> I'm not in it. <laughs> I bet Anna Camp smells so good. That's really funny. Let's see. Yeah, she smells pretty good. I want you to look into the camera, really sell in the most dramatic way possible that okay. this is the last Pitch Perfect. I mean, okay. Anna's won awards for dramatic acting. I've I... lost a lot of awards. Oh, I've have been you? nominated a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lot, so. It's nominating. I don't know still how much winning. you're going to believe this. Mr. Dean. So much talent in those fingers and such voice from that heart. Wait, what is it? The fingers? Oh, no, I didn't know what to do with that. I was in a production of Fiddler on the Roof and fell from the roof at a dress rehearsal. Because she's method. I just want to say that this is a... This is going to be the last. <laughs> it's the last pitch perfect. The pitch number three, they've ended it. It's a trilogy. I don't know why they do this as we get so invested in that. I oh, know because we're all friends in real life. And, and then I do find myself sometimes like, like even when we were on set and it was we were not rolling, I would like speak in the accent. And I used to do that with Chi Chi all the time. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> like I would laugh like the character. I'm like, oh, can you do it? Oh yeah. Awesome. Um, wait. Uh, you should make like the ocean and wave goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Aubrey and Becca have beef. I got beef, it's what's for dinner. This is the last one, guys, and this is probably our last movie ever. <laughs> we're turning in our SAG cards and we're never working again. And I just wanna yeah. do more and hang out with it. But they said they couldn't afford the $15 million each. <laughs> and then they kicked us onto the street. And they said they're gonna get younger actresses in the fourth one. They did, and they said they get to pay them less, which is why they yeah. What, how many states did you guys visit? Which one was your favorite, kind of all, out of all the countries you went to? Yeah, which one did you like? Both. <laughs> Which one, Atlanta or Decatur? Which one? Oh my <laughs> God, for real. Um, yeah, well, we, I, you know, tell them. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't we go didn't anywhere. Y'all just, just stayed right just within, Atlanta. within Atlanta. Georgia. We love Atlanta. We had fun in Atlanta. We did. Yes, we, did. we did. But it was funny because at one point we were all like, we were improvising about being in Spain, and somebody was like, "You're in Italy." Yes. <laughs> oh, right. 